Welcome back to our channel, aviation enthusiasts. Today, we're delving into the world of private aircraft ownership, focusing specifically on the Challenger 601. While owning a private jet might seem like the pinnacle of luxury, there's a lot more to it than meets the eye. In this video, we'll explore the various costs associated with owning a Challenger 601, shedding light on both the expected and unexpected expenses that come with such a prestigious aircraft. Before we dive into the costs, let's provide a brief overview of the Challenger 601. Manufactured by Bombardier Aerospace, the Challenger 601 is a popular choice among business jet owners due to its spacious cabin, long-range capabilities, and impressive performance. It typically seats 10 to 12 passengers and can fly non-stop for over 3,000 nautical miles, making it ideal for transcontinental flights. The acquisition journey of owning a Challenger 601 begins with the purchase price. As mentioned earlier, purchasing a pre-owned Challenger 601 can range from $1.5 to $5 million, depending on several factors such as aircraft age, total airframe hours, engine condition, avionics upgrades, and interior refurbishments. Aircraft with low airframe hours, recent engine overhauls, and state-of-the-art avionics typically command higher prices in the market. Before finalizing the purchase, prospective buyers often conduct a pre-purchase inspection to assess the aircraft's airworthiness and overall condition. The cost of a pre-purchase inspection can vary significantly depending on the depth of the examination required. Basic inspections may cost around $10,000, covering visual inspections, logbook reviews, and system checks. However, more comprehensive inspections involving detailed engine examinations, avionics testing, and structural inspections can cost upwards of $30,000 or more. Ensuring a clear title and legal ownership of the aircraft is crucial during the acquisition process. Title searches, legal reviews, and documentation preparation may incur additional costs ranging from $1,000 to $5,000, depending on the complexity of the transaction and legal requirements in the jurisdiction where the sale takes place. Upon purchase, owners must also account for taxes and registration fees associated with transferring ownership of the aircraft. These fees vary by state and country and are typically calculated based on the aircraft's purchase price. Depending on the jurisdiction, buyers may be required to pay sales tax ranging from 3 to 10 percent of the aircraft's purchase price, along with registration fees ranging from a few hundred to several thousand dollars. If purchasing an aircraft located in a different region or country, buyers may incur delivery and ferry fees to transport the aircraft to its new home base. These fees can vary depending on factors such as distance, routing, and fuel prices. Typical delivery and ferry fees for a Challenger 601 can range from $10,000 to $50,000 or more, covering fuel, pilot salaries, landing fees, and other expenses associated with the ferry flight. In some cases, buyers may engage the service of an aircraft broker to assist with the purchase process, from aircraft selection and negotiation to closing the deal. Brokerage commissions typically range from 1% to 5% of the aircraft's purchase price, depending on the scope of services provided and complexity of the transaction. While brokerage commissions increase the overall acquisition cost, they can be valuable for buyers seeking professional guidance and expertise throughout the purchasing process. When it comes to financing the purchase of of a Challenger 601, there are several factors to consider. First and foremost is the down payment, which typically ranges from 10 to 20% of the aircraft's purchase price. For a Challenger 601, priced at $3 million, for example, a down payment could amount to $300,000 to $600,000. Loan terms for aircraft financing generally range from 5 to 20 years, with longer terms resulting in lower monthly payments but higher overall interest costs. Interest rates can vary depending on market conditions, creditworthiness, and the lender's terms. As of recent data, interest rates for aircraft loans typically range from 4 to 8%. Taking these factors into account, monthly loan payments for a Challenger 601 could range from $10,000 to $40,000 or more, depending on the down payment, loan term, and interest rate. Over the life of the loan, total interest costs could add hundreds of thousands to millions of dollars to the aircraft's overall price tag. Ensuring a Challenger 601 is a crucial aspect of aircraft ownership, protecting both the owner's investment and liability in the event of an accident or incident. Aircraft insurance premiums are influenced by various factors, including the aircraft's value, intended use, pilot experience, and coverage limits. For a Challenger 601 valued at $3 million, annual insurance premiums typically range from $50,000 to $150,000 or more, 
This wide range reflects the variability in coverage options, deductibles, and underwriting factors. Insurance coverage for the Challenger 601 typically includes full coverage, which reimburses the owner for damage to the aircraft, as well as liability coverage, which protects against lawsuits arising from bodily injury or property damage caused by the aircraft. Additional coverage options such as in-flight entertainment systems, Hainer Keepers liability, and war risk insurance may also be available at an additional cost. Fuel is one of the most significant expenses for aircraft owners, and the Challenger 601 is no exception. With its two General Electric CF-34 turbofan engines, the Challenger 601 burns approximately 400 to 500 gallons of jet fuel per hour, depending on factors such as altitude, speed, and payload. At today's fuel prices, which can vary widely depending on location and market conditions, owners can expect to pay anywhere from $3 to $8 per gallon for jet fuel. This translates to roughly $1,200 to $4,000 per hour of flight, based on the aforementioned fuel consumption rate. For example, a cross-country flight from New York to Los Angeles, covering approximately 2,500 nautical miles, could require around five to six hours of flight time, resulting in fuel costs ranging from $6,000 to $24,000 for the trip alone. It's important for owners to monitor fuel prices and consider factors such as fuel efficiency and route optimization to minimize costs wherever possible. Additionally, fuel hedging or purchasing fuel in bulk through fuel programs can help mitigate the impact of fluctuating fuel prices on operating expenses. Regular maintenance and inspections are crucial for ensuring the safety and airworthiness of your Challenger 601. These procedures encompass a wide range of tasks, from routine checks to major overhauls, and each comes with its associated costs. Routine inspections are conducted at specific intervals to assess the overall condition of the aircraft and identify any potential issues before they escalate. These inspections, including A checks and B checks, typically occur every 200 to 600 flight hours or 6 to 12 months, depending on the aircraft's usage and regulatory requirements. Costs for routine inspections can range from $10,000 to $50,000 per occurrence depending on the depth of the inspection and any necessary repairs or replacements. Engine overhauls are one of the most significant maintenance expenses for aircraft owners. Depending on the engine type and condition, overhauls for the 601's General Electric CF-34 turbofan engines can cost anywhere from $200,000 to $750,000 per engine. Overhauls are typically required every 5,000 to 7,000 flight hours or 10 to 12 years, although these intervals may vary based on factors such as engine condition and usage. As technology advances, owners may choose to invest in avionics upgrades to enhance their Challenger 601's capabilities and comply with evolving regulations. Avionics upgrades can include the installation of new navigation systems, communication equipment, weather radar, and more. Costs for avionics upgrades vary depending on the scope of the project, but can range from $50,000 to $500,000 or more. Maintaining the interior of your Challenger 601 is essential for passenger comfort and satisfaction. Over time, upholstery, carpeting, and cabinetry may show signs of wear and tear, necessitating refurbishments or replacements. Costs for interior refurbishments may vary depending on the materials used and the extent of the work, but can range from $50,000 to $200,000 or more. Structural inspections are conducted to assess the integrity of the aircraft's airframe and ensure compliance with regulatory requirements. These inspections, such as corrosion checks and non-destructive testing, are typically performed every few years or as recommended by the manufacturer. Costs for structural inspections vary depending on the size and complexity of the aircraft, but can range from $20,000 to $100,000 or more. Storing your Challenger 601 in a hangar is essential for protecting it from the elements and ensuring its longevity. Hangar fees vary significantly depending on factors such as location, size, amenities, and demand. In urban areas with high demand for hangar space, monthly fees can be substantial ranging from $2,000 to $5,000 or more for a standard sized hangar. For larger metropolitan airports with limited availability, premium Hainer space can command even higher prices exceeding $10,000 per month. Alternatively, owners located in rural or less congested areas may find more affordable hangar options. Monthly fees for a standard hangar in these regions typically range from $500 to $2,000 depending on local demand and facilities quality. 
It's essential to consider additional costs that may be associated with hangar storage. Some facilities offer optional amenities, such as climate control, security systems, and maintenance services, which can incur additional fees ranging from $200 to $1,000 per month. Furthermore, owners should budget for one-time expenses, such as hangar initiation fees, which can range from $500 to $5,000 depending on the facility's policies and location. Owners who prefer to avoid monthly hangar fees altogether may explore alternatives such as aircraft tie-downs or portable hangars. While these options can offer cost savings initially, they may expose the aircraft to greater wear and tear from exposure to the elements, potentially leading to higher maintenance costs in the long run. Hiring professional pilots and crew members to operate your Challenger 601 is a significant expense that contributes to the overall cost of ownership. The captain, also known as the pilot in command, is responsible for the safe operation of the aircraft and overall decision making during flights. Captain salaries can vary widely depending on experience, qualifications, and the operator's location. In the United States, experienced Challenger 601 captains can command salaries ranging from $120,000 to $250,000 annually. Those with extensive experience and certifications may command higher salaries, especially if they have type-specific training on the Challenger 601. The first officer or co-pilot assists the captain in flying the aircraft and performs various duties as delegated by the captain. First officer salaries typically range from $60,000 to $150,000 per year depending on experience, qualifications, and the operator's location. Like captains, first officers with Challenger 601 type ratings and significant experience may command higher salaries. Depending on the owner's preferences and the aircraft's configurations, one or more flight attendants may be hired to provide cabin service and ensure passenger safety and comfort. Flight attendant salaries vary based on experience, location, and the number of flight hours required. In the United States, flight attendant salaries for Challenger 601 operations typically range from $40,000 to $80,000 annually. While not part of the flight crew, maintenance technicians are essential for ensuring the aircraft remains in airworthy condition. These professionals perform routine inspections, repairs, and maintenance tasks to keep the Challenger 601 operating safely and efficiently. Depending on their qualifications and experience, maintenance technicians can earn salaries ranging from $50,000 to $100,000 or more per year. When calculating the total crew cost for operating a Challenger 601, it's essential to consider all salaries and associated expenses. Depending on the size of the crew and their respective salaries, as well as additional expenses such as training and benefits, total crew salaries for a Challenger 601 operation can range from $250,000 to $500,000 or more per year. Depreciation is a crucial factor to consider when assessing the long-term cost of owning a Challenger 601. While this aircraft is known for its relatively stable resale value compared to others in its class, depreciation still plays a significant role in determining the total cost of ownership. The depreciation rate of a Challenger 601 can vary depending on several factors, including market demand, aircraft condition, maintenance history, and technological advancements in newer models. Generally, owners can expect a depreciation rate from 5 to 10% per year. For example, let's consider a Challenger 601 purchased for $3 million. In the first year of ownership, the aircraft might depreciate by approximately $150,000 to $300,000, depending on market conditions and usage. By the end of the fifth year, the aircraft's value could decrease by $750,000 to $1.5 million. It's essential to note that depreciation is not linear and tends to accelerate over time particularly as the aircraft ages and newer models enter the market. However, diligent maintenance, avionics upgrades, and interior refurbishments can help mitigate the depreciation by enhancing the aircraft's overall value and appeal to potential buyers. In conclusion, owning a Challenger 601 is a significant investment that entails various costs beyond the initial purchase price. From acquisition and financing to fuel, maintenance, and insurance, the total cost of ownership can quickly add up. However, for those who value the convenience, flexibility, and prestige of private jet ownership, the Challenger 601 remains an attractive option. By understanding and budgeting for the various expenses involved, owners can enjoy the benefits of private aviation while managing costs effectively. We hope this video has provided valuable insights into the real cost of owning a Challenger 601. As always, thank you for watching, and don't forget to subscribe for more aviation content.